Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. Today I went down to Johns Hopkins and I had my appointment with my neurologist and we discussed about how relapsing remitting is treated differently than progressive, both primary and chronic progressive diseases. Um, what they, how they treat uh, uh, relapsing remitting has to do with the state the body's in. And in relapsing remitting, the body is in, a, in an inflamed state. And you would know this because when you have an attack, uh, how do they get you better fast? Is they treat you with uh, steroids. And the steroids reduce the inflammation in your body. And that's why it makes it better. Now, you know if you've had uh, chronic progressive of any type, if you take steroids, you notice it doesn't do anything as far as making you feel better. So the difference is, is that with relapsing remitting, they can treat uh, the symptoms by reducing the inflammation in the body. That doesn't work with chronic progressive. With chronic progressive, we're dealing with uh, neuron death, uh, the death of these nerve fibers. And in no way is our beta seron, Avanax, Rebif, um, any, any of these new in Copaxone, any of these injectable medications, uh, Jelenia, or even to Sabri, none of that is going to help uh, slow the progression of these cell deaths. The only thing that has been shown to be useful for uh, uh, chronic uh, MS or progressive MS is uh, rituximab, um, this new oxycrolizumab. Um, what's interesting about that is that uh, the second, the acrelizumab is actually a cousin of rituximab. Um, they're both chemotherapies um, and, and they have been shown to improve or s stop the progression in the cell deaths. Uh, Nevantrone is the other chemotherapy. Um, that's the blue. They actually do that in relapsing remitting too. When I was relapsing progressive, I had that. Um, but you might want to look into it. And then the fourth thing is the biotin research. Uh, I have a, a small video series on biotin. It didn't work well with me because I was doing Jeleni at the same time. But I am considering rituximab. I'll be considering that. And if I do that, then I'll start the uh, um, biotin again. But anyway, this is what I wanted to pass on to you guys. Um, the HSCT or the, the stem cell replacement uh, therapy, a lot of people are talking big stuff with that, but the truth is, is that the research uh, for it being a definite source for us, is it's just not there yet. Uh, it's just premature just like the CCSBI, the, the vein operation, a lot of us jumped on that bandwagon and they're just finding it's not as effective as they had hoped. Um, the other thing is, is the uh, um, Lemtrada. Lemtrada is a, it has some pretty serious side effects, um, but it has been incredibly helpful for some people. Uh, it, it just, the evidence is not there for helping chronic progressive or any kind of progressive disease. So uh, anyway, please subscribe. Remember msfrontiers.org and uh, friend me at Dulce Hill on Facebook and I'll add you to MS Frontiers, uh, that, that secret group. So uh, anyway, uh, please subscribe and keep coming back. God bless you and have a good evening.